Okay, so today we're going to talk about surface area of a pyramid. So a pyramid is a three-dimensional object with four triangular faces that and one rectangular base. Now, for the formula we're going to use, this rectangular base is always going to be a square. So this is congruent to this side. So to find the surface area of a pyramid, you're going to find the surface area of each face and add them together. So we're going to write our own little formula right here. Surface area equals, first we're going to find the area of the base, which is going to be length times width, or because it's a square, side squared, plus the area of this triangle, which if they had this height drawn in for you, remember it has to be this per this perpendicular height, which is perpendicular to the base. And I know it's kind of hard to see because I can't show you a pyramid, but um, this side, when you draw in your height, it's going to be perpendicular to the base. So to find the area of one triangle, we're going to take one half base times height. And since each one of these triangles is going to be congruent, because the only way this pyramid will com completely close up top is if each one of them are congruent, we're going to multiply this by 4. So now let's do an example. So surface area is what we're trying to find. So first we're going to find the area of the base, which is 8 times 8 plus 4, 1 half times base times height. And they drew our height in and told us it was equal to 5. Now, if you remember, since this is a square, that means that every one of these sides has to be congruent. That's why every one of these triangles is going to have the same area. Because if I try to find the area for this triangle, it's also going to be 1 half base times height every single triangle is going to have that. So you don't have to worry about not getting the right area. So 8 times 8 is 64 plus 1 half times 8 is 4 4 times 5 is 20 20 times 4 is 80 so we get 64 plus 80 so surface area is equal to 144 and pretend as they told us this, this was in inches. So we have 144 inches squared. Because remember, area is always a two-dimensional measurement. So we have to have units that show that we are two-dimensionally two -dimensionally measuring it. So let's do one more example. So we have a square base 6 by 6 and a height of 10. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the square so 6 times 6 plus 4 1 half times base times height surface area is equal to 6 times 6 is 36 plus 1 half times 6 is 3 times 10 is 30, times 4 is 120. So if you add these two together, you'll get 156. And pretend these were in centimeters, it'd be 156 centimeters squared. Now if you don't have units, you can always write 156 units squared, which just shows that you know that you have to have a one a two dimensional unit even though they didn't give you any. That just shows that yeah you know what you're talking about. So that's our last example. Um, 
and that's all we're doing with surface area today but make sure you come back and watch the next video because we're going to go into volume of a pyramid and that's a little bit different.